الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أرشف المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. My name is Zaid Karim, also known as Beholder Guard on YouTube, Twitter, Skype, Facebook, etc., etc. And I have nicknamed myself Abu Huraira <laughs> because I love cats as the famous companion of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Abu Huraira, which is not his real name, by the way, but he used to love cats so much that they gave him they gave him the nickname Father of the Cat. Imagine that many people in Islam don't even know his real name, or they have to look it up in order to find out. Anyway, uh, this is my revert story of how I came to Islam. I was raised in a Catholic family. I was born in Cyprus. I was born in Cyprus. Raised in a Catholic family, our mother used to take us to church every Sunday, etc., etc. I went to St. Mary's Catholic nun school. Then our parents moved us to Athens, Greece, in the year 1988. Um, continued to study English, etc., etc. When we finished from school, each person, because it's me, my elder brother, and our elder sister, our eldest sister. We all went different ways. At some point, due to some family disputes, I relocated to Egypt. And the first job that I had was in tourism. And a very good person, whom, by the way, has given me the permission to say his name. His name is Amr Muawad, Allah Jazeel Khair, gave me this. This is my first Holy Qur'an. It's the Noble Qur'an, English translation of the meanings and commentary. King Fahd complex for the printing of the Holy Qur'an. I was reading the other side while I was showing the, the, the Arabic side. There it is. As you can see, <laughs> it's <laughs> well used. This is my first Qur'an, mashallah. And this was back in the... Um, beginning of the year 2006 of course since it was after the happenings of uh, 11th september i was a little bit prejudiced etc etc you know what happens when you don't have knowledge in something and you think that it's bad even though we all know now that it's not so uh, anyway i wasn't planning on even looking into islam but I really accepted the gift because it was a, guy, a kind gesture. And he told me, you know, this is our holy book. If you want, you can read it. Um, if you don't want to, do whatever you want. So out of curiosity, I started opening it and I started reading. And I discover that it has solutions to all humanity's problems. And it answered the questions that I had at the back of my head, like, for example, how could God be one in a trinity? How could someone die for my sins? How could I be responsible for something that I didn't do? Etc. Etc. Especially when I read Surah Al-Ikhlas, I was like, wow, mashallah, and that makes sense. Which says, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, Kul hu Allahu ahad, tell them he's Allah the one and only. Allahu samat, Allah, eternal, absolute. Lam yalid wa lam yulad, he does not begot and was not he was not begotten and does not he does not begot and was not begotten. Lam yalid was not begotten and does not beget. Anyway, walam yakullahakufun ahad and there's no one equal or co-equal unto him. Four concentrated verses which made me look into Islam further, and after two and a half months of research. I discovered that, of course, having finishing the book, because I read it every day or almost every day, and I finished it rather quickly, and I did some extensive research on the Quran, I discovered that this beautiful book has the solution to humanity's problems. I discovered that it is indeed Kalimatullah, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it didn't take me long to become a Muslim. So this is my story in short. Yeah, excuse the background noise. Uh, I live close to uh, here in Peristeri, Athens, Greece. I live close to close to a main road. Anyway, 
This is my story in short. Hope you enjoyed it. وآخر دعواني والحمد لله رب العالمين الصلاة والسلام على أرشف المرسلين السلام عليكم.